what Stephanie asked me to do was to just to give a little bit of background about Monash's international vision to provide a basis for thinking about how ICT could actually enable us to get to where we talk about going quite a lot. But at, up to now, a fair bit of it, at least from the students' point of view, has been rhetoric rather than real life experience or even virtual experience. So what I'm going to say is well known to a lot of you because we've certainly been talking about it a great deal over the last uh, four or five years and indeed before that. But it will give you a bit of an update about where we are on our international agenda and where it fits into the overall plans that Monash has for its future. I'm also very pleased to welcome Adam Shoemaker here. Adam is the new DVC Education who will be starting in, uh, at uh, the beginning of September at Monash, but going to spend the day with us uh, today. So during the breaks, for all of you take the opportunity of uh, saying hello to Adam, he's gradually finding out who's who around Monash. So the title I was given was Monash International Collaboration Without, whoops, without um, Boundaries. Can I just do the page, uh, the page backwards? Okay, so first of all, what do we think the characterising features of Monash are? Well, first of all, absolutely paramount is we want to be excellent in education and research. And I guess most universities would say that, um, although I think in relation to Australian universities, the research agenda is certainly much more focused and apparent at uh, universities in the, in the group of eight such as Monash. We've said at the undergraduate level, we want and value the campus-based experience for our students. So although we're very keen to use information communications technology to augment the campus experience, we don't want it to totally replace it. Now that applies specifically at the undergraduate level and we should bear in mind that looking forward, much more of what Monash will be about will be related to mid-career retraining, postgraduate uh, coursework of various <coughs> sorts on the job training and even uh, later career um, and uh, retirement uh, activities. And a lot of that will be inevitably IT, ICT based rather than a campus based experience. But for the undergraduates, we believe that there's still a very worthwhile component of education that comes through personal interaction, one to one basis at the, at the campus uh, level. And I think we see through the various, through the variety of uh, student activities uh, that. That, that is clearly alive and uh, well at the Monash campuses. In addition to the research and research-led education, internationalisation or internationalism is a major focus of Monash University. And I think for any research-intensive university, we are the one with the most international footprint. And we describe that as something that is going to be a special element of diversity in the evolving higher education scene in Australia. We also have a deep commitment to cross-cultural education and communication, believing that that's essential for the future of um, life on Earth, Earth, uh, vigorous border protection and trying to, to keep uh, people that we don't like very much out of the country or to blast potential terrorists out of existence isn't going to be a long-term strategy that will produce security and harmony uh, on Earth. And uh, as uh, technology advances and nuclear weapons, for example, uh, become uh, ubiquitous, uh, that strategy is uh, very time limited. And the only way really to safeguard the future is to get an environment where we can all live together with mutual respect and harmony. Uh, altruistic and, and unrealistic perhaps, but it's something we have to aspire to and Monash has a deep commitment to work towards it. Uh, we are a very diverse university. We have students from over 130 countries. We have, uh, as we know, eight campuses, including two international campuses and two international centres. We have many study mo modes, we have pathway programs, Monash College in particular I'll speak a bit more about uh, and um, 
we have diversity through our community and faculties. So why are we so keen on this international focus? Well, whether we do like it or not, globalisation is here to stay. Our graduates will be working in a global economy and global companies, and an international perspective is essential in preparing them for life in that type of environment. And we already see so many of our alumni now, even if they started off as Australians, are now working internationally, and wherever we go in the world, we meet Monash alumni, uh, both international students in their own countries, international students in other countries, or Australian students uh, overseas. The network of alumni is of huge benefit to Monash, but also equally importantly to Australia, in fact more importantly to Australia. And I think, for example, during the years of the 90s when the Prime Minister of Australia was uh, describing the Prime Minister of Malaysia as recalcitrant and the Prime Minister of Malaysia was hurling abuse on Australia and ridiculing it, Beneath that, there are very warm relations, business and industry relations, professional relations, proceeding with a network of Malaysians who have been educated in Australia, feeling very warm and with many friends and colleagues in Australia. Understanding different cultures and religions is intellectually and emotionally rich and rewarding. So in academic terms, for its own sake, we are enriched by multiculturalism and understanding different cultures. And as I mentioned previously, it'll lead to a more peaceful and secure world. So what are our international activities? Well, the most obvious is for a very large number of international students we have studying in Australia, something like 15,000 international students, the largest of any Australian university. We have Monash College operating in many parts of the world and the Foundation Year Program also in a, a number of sites. The Monash Abroad Program is successful and growing and we're invested through the Monash Mobility Program more funds into this. But it is worth pointing out that of our 55,000 students, only 1,200 to 1,500 have an international experience each year in a physical sense. And we've tried and working hard on internationalising our curricula and also uh, the experience of the students. But again, I think there's more rhetoric than there is uh, real action with respect to that, and we have a long way to go. <coughs> our overseas campuses and centres provide special opportunities for us, and we need, and part of this, uh, part of the thrust of today's activities is to learn how we can take more advantage of those overseas campuses so that what we say about them becomes a reality. And we've got additional international activities planned uh, in California, but particularly in India, where our progress towards establishing a joint research academy or institute with the Indian Institute of Technology, Bombay, is progressing. We're enrolling joint PH, jointly badged and supervised PhD students this year, and the formal arrangement of a joint venture leading to a, a, a joint building uh, is going to be uh, taken closer to fruition towards the end of the year. And close partnerships, particularly with Sichuan University, Shanghai Jiao Tong University, and Zhongzhan University in uh, China uh, will also require uh, a lot of uh, attention. 